We've actually got some huge news today if you're a Canon cinema fan because we've actually got two RF cinema cameras coming next year in 2023. So make sure you actually stick to the end of the video so you actually find out what both of these two cinema cameras are. I've got all this information from Canon Rumors, but anyway, let's just jump straight into the article and start talking about these new cinema cameras. So as you can see, it's got Canon Cinema EOS cameras coming in 2023 CR3. And if you don't know what a CR3 is, basically it's how Canon Rumors rank their reliability sources. And you've got CR0, which is basically an absolute joke. And their highest one is a CR3, which is a fact. So because this is a CR3, this is happening and these cameras will be coming out next year. So as you can see, it says Canon is finally going to be updating some of the Cinema EOS lineup in 2023. And we think a lot of products have actually been delayed and reworked over the last 12 to 18 months. So as you can see, the first one is the Canon Cinema EOS C200 Mark II. So it's going to have the same Super 35 4K DGO sensor as the C70 and the C300 Mark III. So if you've got them cameras as well, it's going to look match up really, really nicely along them cameras. It's going to have an RF mount, which is a big deal because obviously the C70 and the R5C are the only RF mount cinema cameras that they offer at the minute. So having a C200 Mark II as an RF mount will be huge for a lot of people. It's going to have 4K up to 120 frames. It's going to have cinema, raw light, XF, AVC and MP4 recording options. Two SD UHS2 uh, media slots. A modular box design somewhat similar to the Panasonic BS1H camera. A HDMI Type A and a 12G SDI outputs, and it's going to have the multi-function hot shoe is included for the external XLR module. So, what do you actually think about this new camera, the C200 Mark II? Leave your comments down below. Are you interested in this camera? Do you think this camera will be a really nice upgrade? And actually, are you going to be buying it if this comes out, or you're not interested at all? But I think this camera looks pretty cool. To be fair, another Cinema RF mount camera is absolutely crucial i think that's huge for canon and let's just jump straight into the next camera that will actually be coming out next year alongside it which is the canon cinema eos c700 mark ii so it's going to have a user swappable sensors with two offerings at launch with a super 35 5k global shutter sensor and a full frame 8k dj dgo rolling shutter sensor so you're gonna have two sensors that you can actually swap from a full frame one and a super 35 one so it'll be really nice if again you want to match up the c70 or c300 mark 3 or also the new c200 mark 2 so it'll actually be matched up really nice or if you want to match it to the r5c you can because it's got full frame both sensor blocks are equipped with a direct rf mount which can be topped by an ef or lpl mount without the need to remove the rf mount the whole mount can be assembled on top of the rf mount and mounted to the camera like sony did so you can actually swap them out so if you've got ef lenses it doesn't matter you can use them all if you've got new rf lenses you can also use them as well so it's the best of both worlds so this camera is going to be looking like it's going to be absolutely amazing the introduction of two new gamma curves so it's going to have canon log 4 designed for hdr productions and wide dr cine designed for cinematic colors straight out of camera so again new canon log 4 this is all going to look absolutely amazing but i'm sure it will cost a lot of the money but i'm pretty sure it'll be absolutely worth it it's going to have two CF Express Type B cards and one SD card media slot. This would be um, the most codec heavy from Canon, uh, XF AVC, ProRes and Cinema Raw light can be recorded internally. Uh, B Raw and ProRes Raw externally with the Black Magic Video Assist and the Atomos Ninja Plus. Cinema Raw with the codec CDX3615 and a new module recorder developed partnership with Red Digital Cinema Camera to record Red Code to a proprietary media. Sorry if I butchered that last word there. And then four SDI outputs for different monitor and workflows. A camera design in somewhat closer to the C300 Mark III and C500 Mark II design, although a little bit bigger to accommodate the extra uh, IO terminals. And then this camera is a prototype already out in the field being tested. So this looks very, very interesting. That was a lot of codec, a lot of information there. So hopefully I did say that clearly and you can read it as well. But it's already been in the field being tested with a prototype. So expect this next year. This is going to be a really, really big camera for Canon, I think. And then a lot of this information seems to be an evolution of the premium cinema ERS rumors. We also expect to see RF mount uh, Cine Prime lenses to finally be announced in 2023. We've been told that they're based off the the summary of lenses but with some minor updates so two new cinema cameras coming in 2023 along with some prime cinema lenses as well which are all going to cost so much money but 
they're actually finally making the shift proper now, I think, over to the RF mount for the cinema cameras. The R5C and the C70 are absolutely amazing cameras, but they need more out like the C300 and C200, and it looks like they actually are going to be getting them with the C200 Mark II and also the C700 Mark II. So again, leave your comments down below. What are your thoughts on this new C700 and the C200? Will you be picking it up? Does this interest you? I think it looks absolutely amazing. If you're a top of the top of the line professional who does proper pro professional video production and can afford this then obviously what do you think are you going to be buying this or are you going to be sticking to what you have i personally think canon going down this rf mount cinema camera route is absolutely huge for them and i think a lot of people will be interested in buying these two cameras so remember leave your thoughts in the comments below but anyway thank you very much for watching and if you did enjoy this video why not hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future and also hit that like button because it does actually really help me out so anyway thank you very much for watching and i guess i'll see you guys on the next video see you later